In other news, Israelis and Jews worldwide celebrated the Harvest Festival of Shavuot this weekend by eating dairy products, attending religious services, and hosting large family gatherings. But for those who don't know, Shavuot is also commemorated by an all-night Torah study to mark it as the possible anniversary of receiving the Torah. Though Shavuot is never explicitly named as the day the Torah was revealed to the Israelites on Mount Sinai. And so Jews around the globe understandably celebrate in many different, albeit similar ways. For one, in celebration of the traditional harvest season, Jews eat a lot of dairy foods. Then in public and large gathering places like the synagogues, flower arrangements are often displayed. Take the Great Synagogue in Rome, for example, which adorned its halls with pink and white calla lilies, and other flowers as it does every year. Finally, use of water guns and water balloons has also become somewhat of a tradition, though in some places people took the water play a little too far. On Saturday at the Yamit 2000 water park in Cholon, for example, a fight broke out between a group of young men and security guards. When the youths allegedly wanted to get into the spa without paying, guards and ushers apparently attempted to turn them away, only to be met with force. And in the footage, parents and kids can be seen running for cover as chairs were thrown and security guards were attacked. Though that said, CEO of the recreation grounds, Shimshon Chen, told Channel 12 News that the fight looked a lot worse than it was. Just two or three minutes of confrontation. It wasn't amongst a large crowd, he said.